This is Rocky Flats. You are tuned into Greenlight Radio, KGLR 95.3 FM. I am at the Desert Rocks Festival. Yes, indeed. Yes, and I'm sitting here with Daniel, you said? Daniel, yes, indeed, yes. from Elephant Revival. That's right, Elephant Revival. So you guys just played. That was an awesome set, Yeah, by the way. thank you so much. That yeah, was that a lot was of fun. Nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. How do you guys feel playing out here right now? It feels great, you know. We're really lucky to, you know, go play in the Pacific Northwest where you're in kind of rainforest kind of stuff. And, and then you come to the desert. Yeah, wherever we go, you know, it's always a new atmosphere and you get, right. get the taste of, of America. So it's right. great. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now, where does Elephant Revival uh, hail from? Elephant Revival hails from Nederland, Colorado. Oh, that's the, my home. That's your home. That's All right. My home. That's cool. where I was raised. Okay. So nice, nice. All right. Good stuff. Nice. Um, so, how long how long have you guys been a band together? We've been a band for over four years, about four and a half years. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. It, okay. it feels like we've been uh, pretty much on the road since then too. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, you guys have been growing in popularity for sure. I actually didn't hear about you until about eight months ago. Oh, cool. Um, and I know I'd heard the name here and there. Wow. Know, I mean, even coming from Nederland. Right. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know. Well, Nederland has great music. It's oh, known, man. known for it. At least I think it is. Of course, I grew up there. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Um, what future tour dates do you have coming up? Where are you guys going after this? Um, after this, place? we play a festival um, on at State Bridge, in, right outside of Vail. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. so we do that. Oh, yeah, State Bridge. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yes. Um, and then soon after that, we fly to the East Coast, and we do about six or seven dates on the East Coast. Nice. One of them being, um, we're opening up for a band called Dispatch nice. at, at um, the Boston Garden. So it'll be... Wow. We'll be playing potentially in front of 20,000 people because it's already sold out. That's awesome. It'll be our biggest show thus far. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, have you guys actually recorded an album, like put up a produced album? Yeah, we have two albums. Have we two have albums. our first one is self-titled. Okay. Um, it's got some really good songs on there. Uh, our second album that we just recently put out um, is called Breaking the Clouds. Right. And um, there's some really, really good gems on there. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. When did you guys just finish that? Or we f we finished it. Um, I'd say last winter. Okay. But uh, we went through a bunch of record contract negotiations and um, really stoked to have signed a record contract with uh, our good friends Roughshod. And it took a little while to get it out, but right, it, right. here we are. Nice. It's out. Nice. Got to get you one. Yes, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. When did you guys get here? By the way. We we just rolled in right yeah. before our set. It was kind of yeah, yeah, it was yeah. pretty crazy. That's pretty much what everyone's doing. So <laughs> yeah. It's kind of how this rolls. So. Yeah. Now are you guys staying for the camping? You guys got to roll. Oh, yeah, out? we're here for tonight, and nice. uh, we play a wedding in Moab tomorrow. Oh, nice. <clears throat> nice. So yeah. Nice. So um, now, as far as a musician, we ask this to every musician that we interview. How do you feel about music piracy? People stealing music off the internet, file sharing, stuff like that. How do you feel about that as a musician? Um, you know, it's. It's a double-edged sword, right. and the the sword is kind of dull on on both ends. <laughs> um, um, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt too much because right. your stuff gets out there, right? You know, um, but with art, there's already such a lack of um, funding right. for the arts. You know, you go to any given school, yeah, and that's true. they're just pulling money out of the arts left and right. Yeah, yep. and you know that's. That's a good side of the brain that we really need to. Yeah. And so, uh, as a profession, it it's a tough one. It's a tough one, but you can't really get too caught up in it, you right. know. Right. So, um, I guess I could say I don't mind it because we have such great great fans that when we play it to people, they they really want to support us and buy our records. So I can't right. say that we've we've um, been affected by it too much so right right for sure so, for sure yeah where was the first place your band played first place our band played was uh i pretty sure the gold hill inn the gold hill inn yeah nice yeah, yeah. that's always a good first starting point for bands for sure yeah for sure um have you guys done any collaborations with other musicians uh that totally like on the albums or anyone anything yeah. coming up or even just live in a jam session or yeah, actually, one of our first gigs um, up at the stage stop, we had uh, we played with uh, Jack Johnson's drummer, this guy Adam Topol, um, and Pierce Ficini, and um, 
every time we're around Vince, I mean, we, Vince Herman from Netherlands yeah, as well, yeah. from Leftover, Vince. and uh, every time we play festivals with him, we're always crossbreeding on the. I'm surprised he didn't come yeah, sit into he around here. He is, yeah. I gotta he's, find him too. Yeah, he's hanging out. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're really open. I mean, music should be—that's the way it should be, you know. Really open, definitely. And definitely. Uh, we we like to to harness that. So nice. Yeah. Now, um, how can people find out more information about your music? Uh, is there places on the internet they can go? Um, the website. Where can people get the album? Stuff like that. Yeah, we have um, uh, a website www.elephantrevival.com. We have. Uh, our first album on CD Baby, our second album on our website. We're on Facebook. Right, right. I mean, we're pretty much all over. All Jam Bass, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. We've been enjoying your YouTube videos, too. YouTube, yeah, we have yeah. some good stuff. Actually, Mystic Mike, who's here um, from Monroe, Utah, he, uh, he's here, and he's, he's put some good stuff on YouTube for right. us. So, yeah, there's yeah. some good quality stuff on yeah. there, I've noticed. Yeah, probably his stuff.